guys, welcome to this week's video. I'm gonna be talking all about the personal statement for medical school and obviously I'm no expert on this topic. I'm just gonna be sharing with you the resources that I used and loved, some ideas to brainstorm for when you're writing your own personal statement, and then I'm gonna share with you my personal statement, not because it's perfect by any means, but because the number one thing that helped me is looking at examples. So just reading a bunch of examples and figuring out what the heck or how to write this personal statement is what helped me. So that's why I'm sharing it with you guys. If you don't already know me, my name is Maggie. I'm 26 years old and I'll be starting medical school in the summer of 2021. I'm not exactly sure where yet. I'm still in the decision-making process. If you wanna learn about my whole non-traditional path and applying twice and all that, you can watch the video above. Um, but other than that, let's get started. All right, so as far as my absolute most favorite resource to use when writing your personal statement, it's Dr. Gray's personal statement book. And if you watch like, one or two of my videos, you're probably not surprised that I'm saying this because that, I mean, all of his resources is what I used for like the whole process of applying to medical school. So I highly suggest it. I'll link it below. I really like it. I would say like the first half is all about what to write, what not to write. It talks about takeaways and kind of using stories to show your qualities instead of telling and all that stuff. So, and then the second half is all about just people whose personal statements he's edited. Um, it's like their first drafts and then their second drafts and then their final drafts, plus his commentary on all of the drafts. So it's amazing. And like I said, the best thing that helped me was examples. So there's a lot of examples in it. So really, really helpful. I'll also link like, I think there's two really good blog posts that I also just searched personal statement examples and they have a ton of examples. So that really helped the initial brainstorming. And then as far as another idea to kind of figure out what stories you should include, I would go to this website. I'll also link it below. It's AAMC's 15 core competencies. And it's just kind of like what they're looking for for entering medical students. And I think you could kind of go through this list and think of, okay, what is a story I could share that shows that I can work well with the team or that shows that I'm dependable or adaptable. So instead of in your personal sa statement saying, I think I'll be a good doctor because I am reliable, dependable, and adaptable, and these are the qualities that a doctor needs, I would avoid writing it like that. And instead, I would say, okay, you have this personal story about a time when you failed, but you were resilient and learn from your mistakes and did better the second time around. I don't know, obviously I don't know your stories, but I would go through this and be like, okay, I have a, t a story that I could use to show that I work well with a team and I have a story I could use that shows I have capacity for improvement. And I would kind of just start from there. And then as far as like, we're on the topic of brainstorming, this is how I kind of initially did my brainstorming. So I did not go from a blank slate to trying to just like start with introduction and like writing it from start to finish, no way. I'm a huge fan of outlines and these here, I, I don't know if I got this from Dr. Gray's book or maybe a podcast or something, um, but it's just things online you can go to and it helps you like write without stopping. So instead of just sitting there and being like, what should I write? What should I write? Oh, that doesn't like, you know, um, you just go to it and it makes you keep writing or something until you get a certain word count. I think I tried one of them. I didn't really end up using it, but I tried it and everyone's different. So you might love it. Then I feel like I'm talking really fast, sorry. <laughs> Um, I kind of wrote, I have a better outline somewhere, overall plan. So I don't know what came first. This is in a really weird order, but this is actually exactly how I ended up setting up my personal statement. So my intro or hook, I guess you could say, is a story from me working as an EMT where we had this critical patient who flew in via helicopter. And then, um, so Dr. Gray talks about planning the seat, AKA when's the first time you thought about becoming a doctor? So that was my second paragraph. I talked about the first time I thought about becoming a doctor. Um, and then Alice, that's not her name, obviously, but I had an experience with, um, or one of my jobs that I had that was on my experiences in the application is working as a caregiver for a quadriplegic mom. I was like her caregiver plus nanny for her two kids. And I really wanted to include that in my personal statement because I felt like it was a unique story. So I wanted a paragraph on that. And that's like back again to this list, I think is compassion compassion on here. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe it's not, but cultural competence, where would that fit? Um, maybe service orientation, even though it was a paid job or something. My, my thinking was more like compassion, but I guess it's not necessarily on this list. Um, but definitely reliability and dependability since like it's 48 hour shifts and I have a lot of, she depends on me for a lot of things because 
I'm her caregiver. <laughs> um, so that's kind of like an, a, a story that you could be like, oh, that falls under this category. Maybe I should include it in my personal statement. And then my, oh, EMT mental health. I think this ended up being intertwined with my second paragraph. And then this was my conclusion. So desire to outreach minorities slash conclusion. Dr. Gray talks about kind of wrapping it up in the conclusion maybe to explain what you wanna do in the future as a doctor, what you hope to do as a doctor. So that's where I plan to do that. Um, this stuff is for extracurricular, so it's not related to personal statement. And then I kind of built off my outline by just writing little snippets. So intro, story, show the scene of the helicopter flying in, the trauma patient coming out, et cetera, et cetera. You can read that. Um, and then takeaway. So again, in the book, he talks about how each paragraph should have a takeaway. Like, why is this experience important to you? Why is it relevant in your path to becoming or wanting to be a doctor? So my takeaway was I wanted to have the role of the doctor to have the knowledge of how to fix him, aka like, you'll see how I say like, handing him off to the doctor solidified my decision because I wanted to be able to fix him, not handing him off and not being able to, I guess. Um, and then this isn't something I included. It was more like a note to myself. Like the purpose of this paragraph is to explain why I want to be a doctor. And then body. So again, you already know that my second paragraph is about what planted the seed. So I kind of just typed out a couple sentences just to get started. So again, still like the bare bones outline and then build from that outline and then try and write the paragraphs, not just like blank slate, try and write the paragraphs. Um, couple sentences about um, my caregiving experience. I don't think this, oh yeah, because it kind of got changed up. And then a couple sentences to plan out my conclusion. <laughs> Dramatic personal statement, OMG. This is, I was so excited when I first, first had a draft of my personal statement. That's why it says OMG in all caps. So those are my suggestions as far as resource, brainstorming, and then brainstorming again by using an outline. What is this? Oh yeah, so my friend, she worked at the writing center. She's a friend from college and she worked at the writing center at our college. So she's really good with like grammar and everything. And then she also applied to medical school before. So she was like the perfect person to edit my personal statement. And so once I got through like this and then I went to like the full thing and had my first draft, then I sent it to my friend and she edited, edited it for me, whatever. <laughs> And it gave me some really great suggestions. I would say the number one thing was, and she writes it at the bottom too, like try not to sound too informal. She really helped me because uh, that's definitely like a weakness of mine. Like I'm just not good at writing in general. And I really love this suggestion that she helped me do. Like if you do not see something represented in society. So she just helped like bring what I was trying to say in a more adult way or formal way, I guess. Um, and then she again, like made really good grammar edits and things like that. So definitely have somebody read it over, even if they don't know about the process of applying to medical school, you can ask, ask them like, when you read this personal statement, do you understand why I wanna be a doctor? And is it clear why I wanna be a doctor and not a nurse or a PA or a therapist? Cause I think, so when I have edited other personal statements for people, sometimes people, one, are very focused on like doctors they shadow. And I think I mentioned before, like you can kind of be selfish. Like this personal statement is about you and you wanna show what your qualities are. So don't spend two whole paragraphs talking about how awesome this doctor is that you shadowed. And then another thing, one person kept saying they wanted to be a doctor because they wanted to show compassion to people. So that's great. And she had amazing stories about how she's obviously a very compassionate person, but you should try and think of, takeaways that say like why you want to be a doctor and not something else because you could have a lot of professions where you can be compassionate and help people but like you don't have to be a doctor to do that so just keep that in mind when you're writing it and ask somebody like does it seem like I only want to be a doctor or does it seem like there's five other jobs I could do and fulfill what I'm saying I want if that makes sense so in blue like I said I'm all about stories so this is annoying I'm all about stories. So in blue is how I tried to kind of like set the scene. Like literally when I talk stories, it's like, I want you to feel like you're in the moment with me. <laughs> um, all right, I'm just gonna have to ignore that. So intro paragraph, like I said, it's about having a critical patient come in via helicopter and 
the things I highlighted, gust of wind or blood seeping from his nose. So I feel like if you read this, you can feel like you're in this moment, this guy coming off the stretcher. So my takeaway that's highlighted in pink, orange, salmon, I don't know, handing him off to the team of doctors and nurses solidified my decision to continue, continue pursuing a career as a physician. And then before that, I put, I wished I could heal the emotional and physical pain that had caused this injury to occur. So honestly, I could have been a little more specific even, but I wanted to heal him, treat him. I could have said treat and diagnose. Maybe that'd be a little more specific to doctor. That's what I ended up putting. Obviously, it's not perfect, but I tried to do story takeaway. That's the overall sense of what I tried to do with every paragraph. And then the second paragraph, so this is where I talk about the seed. Um, so highlighted in blue, I sit in the back of the ambulance with my patients, trying to set the scene, tell a story. And this is the first half of the paragraph, not the whole paragraph. I put that, basically I had this conversation with a patient and I was talking about why I wanted to be a doctor and why I hadn't necessarily pursued it before. So this is how I decided to say plant this or plant my seed or what, whatever you want to say about that because I didn't know any other way to kind of do it I guess so this is how it ended up being a little different in the second part of the paragraph I tried to think of okay what quality do I want to show that I have and I tried to like show that I'm compassionate or helpful or something I guess <laughs> this patient was just telling me about his fears and stuff and I explained how I kind of tried to help him feel less scared or feel fearful about what was going on and then the takeaway, I guess, is that experience reminds me to not take patients trust for granted. Probably not the best takeaway ever, but okay. So what's highlighted in yellow, if I had met him at a coffee shop, I could have talked to him for hours about knowing what he struggles with internally. I was, guess what I was trying to say is, and more related to trust too, like he's trusting me with something that he wouldn't just tell anybody. Like if you were at a coffee shop, he wouldn't mention his struggles with his mental illness but since I like he's my patient and I'm the EMT like he's sharing this with me and I felt I guess like privileged to have that responsibility and things like that um so that's what I was getting at but it's highlighted because it was brought up in my one of my interviews with one of the schools that I interviewed at and I just thought that was interesting to note because some people ask um if things that you put in your personal statement ever get brought up in interviews and they definitely do if it's not a blind interview and he was it was an emergency or an ER doctor and he's like so explain to me what you mean by this because I'm an ER doc and I feel like if I spent three seconds with somebody I would know what they struggle with internally so what do you mean by that <laughs> but um so that was interesting third paragraph this is where I talk about uh Alice and Again, I just wanted to show that I'm reliable, responsible, compassionate. And as far as storytelling, I kind of played out just what I do in that role each morning and evening. So pulled out of my dream. And then the next morning, like in two fluid motions, I scoot her to the edge of the bed and lift her into her chair. So kind of just storytelling, you know, <laughs> and continue to tell a story. And my takeaway was I love seeing how I was impacting her quality of life, which strengthened my determination to become a physician. And I feel like that, again, is a little bit general. Um, here, I'll quickly show you. This was a story that I didn't use, unused paragraph. Um, so the, don't be afraid if you write a first draft to completely redo it because this story is just not relevant enough to put in my personal statement. And I feel like the second story was way better because it's more about me and my role as a caregiver, whereas this is just telling a story about the time we had a water balloon fight, but you know, you gotta start somewhere. But my takeaway here is whether it's delivering a baby or performing a surgery, I can't wait to impact more families like Alice's one day as a physician and have that same feeling of gratification. So I don't know, maybe that would have been a little more specific, like kept in that delivering baby or performing surgery or something, but I ended up going with this. And then my conclusion paragraph. This is where I was trying to say what I hope to do as a doctor. And so for me, I would really like to outreach to minorities or young kids who maybe wouldn't originally have the opportunity to become or to become a doctor, maybe because nobody in their family is and things like that. So that's where I tried to tie all in, tie that all in here. And then this takeaway, I feel like I say this a lot, but it's maybe could have been a little better to really hone in on why I want to be a doctor. Cause like I said before, what to watch out for, 
So I write, I have chosen not to settle and pursue my dream job of being a physician with the hopes of encouraging and inspiring kids to do the same. You can um, inspire kids and encourage them to become a doctor without being a doctor, but at the end of the day, you can do your best and do a bunch of drafts and try to make it perfect, but it's never going to be perfect. So this is how my personal statement ended up. And overall, I'm happy. There's maybe a few changes that like, if I had to apply again, I would change it up. But that is what I ended up with after reading Dr. Gray's book and watching a few YouTube videos and a lot of examples. <laughs> All right, if you've made it through this whole video, I really hope that it was helpful for you and I wish you the best of luck in your own pre-med journey. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.